My name is Alvin Jarvik, it's Misha Alvin Jarvik, and I'd like to begin with a poem about a man who goes to Antarctica and he falls in love with the music he hears in the landscape there. Fille on Antarctic. Clushin she fose, Diascon and Ayr, Thurmon a vad vuig, Cunis and Nachte. Is queen leshka foil on tear oor a hlugger, on daws ka vogue a ged lante, fort nefe eg banu a chinish, hug she gra a chri than with yal, than t shirt tostach, than tear rach lan. Ach, begin though fille er in tashacht, is er in malle, fear cool a hurt than manye. I saw my eye, a ear in a van air go queen, on kist in a rogant, is the lehe a lee. Is even lesh, uignus on tillain on scumma, is coal a gesh, a non on rotore, noti, dine, a shimint go maul, gluskoil och lonach, a lauren legach baul, da vio. Return from Antarctica. Translated by Billy Ramsa. He can still hear it, the glaciers rasping, their ratcheting in the distance, the snow quiet. And still he remembers gulping unsullied freshness to clarify his lungs, the holy coldness blessing his skin. He gave his heart to that stinging brightness, that taciturn redoubt, that uncluttered country. But no choice except a return to dampness and home. He had to turn his back on blankness. On so many nights, his wife asks him tentatively to abandon the kitchen and join her upstairs. He loves the irregular loneliness of each tap drip and its music to him, the refrigerator's drone, basso profundo, slow in the recital, grinding sighs that call out to his beings every element. A poem about hibernation. Giru. Bullock vroon a hulagus, er fawn a gyoanoid, Chahiase le bia, the yinis though cocoon, is the lag ishtach a bluish gahool. Tasuan malahuch eg bagarturum le kaikish, is me eg alp dorachadish. Na lauer fuckel, na fiachem shu, ha diffin er machri, nach nor dofer. Galem. Thang ye room, ni a hano for me, gapeka na machlog. Wintering, translated by Billy Ramsa. I caught a stomach sorrow while traipsing October's fogs. I ate to nourish it, made a cocoon for it, laid it with slow reverence in a hollow. For fourteen nights, some cursed sleep's been after me while I've been up feeding on darkness. Don't say a word, don't look in my direction. There's something on my heart that can't be lifted. I give in to wintering. You won't see me till the buds begin to blossom. Sometimes in life, eh, uh, we strive and we strive and we strive for perfection or if that even exists, <laughs> something unattainable. And this is a poem about the universe slowing us down. Tuhal. Er machriel chan an tabad, rawas bohar an chosta go kreas aganta. Yultias daran, Dun vien, dun grie her mala, near haunthias ach an kaul. 
Frabes asma vachnev, nur a skin machart den guish, is chassi timpel tuhalach, timpel tuhalach. Nirev fwak fum. Rushias of wort, a male na shunane, gutraum yeagach sanishke. Derum ledina gavaka, kashlani huhel, a son tuhalach fein so hernel. A spader gavaka. Ach nader aravi baklan on van day, avi faram sanawin, nu a lava bioga tama in rhyme score me. Anti clockwise, translated by Michelle O'Sullivan. I took the coast road on the way to the well, head starved and ravenous. I spat at the honeycomb the bread and wine, desiring only hazel. Blindsided, I jolted when the car clipped the edge and spun anti-clockwise. Unweighted in darkness, there was nothing else. I woke mud-soaked at the mouth of the Shannon. I tell people I saw O'Toole's castle, that O'Toole himself had been there in the riverbed. And maybe I did. And maybe it was the goddess that held me, those small, strong hands that gripped my neck. I think this poem, while it is about bees, is also about trying to tend to poems, trying to get them out. Bachere. Nader kade valaniad, bach anig beche, ishtach se shomre, bomboge tegrehe. Nur nach naim shian shiad an inoger lahe, gerian erin lor, dur dan bwile, impi foire, nach federlum squila harum. Thrust through veiloch a gauloch bjog, a guine net linne, is me dirig i the shoiru le dreacht de ron. Bin she the nowers fum, mar de venture fein, da men in a goss. Chunuk bach reachte a vine, eg prova belach a yan of a mach, tri squilt i der froma is lack. Foschgach skrad at. Ashte. Beekeeper, translated by Michelle O'Sullivan. I don't know what attracts them, one after another, this pervasion of unwieldy bumblebees. Impossible to ignore when they fail to find the aperture, this buzz that sharpens to frenzy. The weight flop of their bodies, meagre thumps against glass as I try to coax them with a poem's draft. Were I being lured, I too would be suspicious. I watched one, agonized between sill and frame. He was too tired to escape. The strangest scream rested from him. For a number of years, I was um, kind of obsessed with different languages that maybe weren't reliant on words, uh, different modes of expression. Um, so this is a poem about a whistling language that used to exist in the Pyrenees. And I think in a way, they're probably kind of parables about the Irish language um, and maybe trying to write against claims of the utilitarian approach to language learning, that languages must have some economic benefit. Dead in a fede. In new fein is queen le winter as, gumir tanga al fadil, egus nihiri fado. Fad rav balach fuime an rlane, eder feirach is shaid valle. Fad de dumper nuachtan le, eder iri agus nimanaw a dibrig 
smukert smo gurd. Fadi in nach dikti, las mo den beruhigte. Nur der Honig ne Natsahe, chimad an jadil, judig slan o chuntuert. Her skilte an resistance o veil, gebeil, ferun. Chaurig le pieloti, viemhe emu, tor in despanje, a heim shu. Nir hulhes o hini. Marden she, a green ne mene, an tanga fadelisa, ach nealer hummus ene, ne fuimene, a aharish. Nir dinug, ean, paffet. Last blast, translated by Billy Ramsa. Even now the people of us can remember the long ago whistling language of shepherds. Whistles that followed the acoustic echoey channel from village to pasture. Whistles that carried the day's tittle tattle between herdsmen and the women of the homesteads. Whistles not understood beyond the limits of their parish. When the Nazis invaded, the whistling tongue kept Jews from coming to harm. It passed resistance messages secretly from lip to pursed lip and helped crashed Allied pilots reach the border with Spain. It hasn't been heard since. It has a half-life, this whistling language, in the memories of certain parishioners, but none now is capable of producing the sounds. It was never recorded. This is another language poem about a shrieking language in the Basque country uh, to express the motion. I think this is a great idea. Idencine. O da memi stervur nosa a vaskacha, eg squile le gach racht gehord, eg ligant le gach gov, gach gulv, gach gui, gach gordes, esro, geir, dlorver, goitach. Vemish suerk, esgrogach. Irincina, translated by Billy Ramsell. If we could out with it like you, fine Basques, letting every outburst out, out loud, releasing wraths, laments, hosannas, gladnesses in an ecstatic, yelped, serrated flow, oh, we would be frog-voiced and full of love. Another language poem, this time for my nephew, Thaig. And that time of baby babble, pre-verbal time. Don the Haig. Dianamid Aharish er the verlager boybe, bog brean the re of heinte, a chahoestu an ihe the valive. Sholamid Dilini Dochashchut, is Pogini Kana er de Ranuish, is Koganil Vudenach et de Chluish. Hada Hyanga Vyog, a Liafa agut, Fritter Ahish eg Prabernach on it, is Fadalin Gemeg de Heint agut. Kegor bean de Vale in a Hust, Neil agut, Satelsha, ach de Ro, Galauri tu, o Tri amach. Poem for Thaig, translated by Justin Quinn. We do your baby sounds back at you. Dew drops that wait for words that rock you speechless through the night. We send sing songs of hope to you. We kisses on your forehead and your cheeks, sweet nothings softly in your ears. Your small tongues shaping up and happy shivers shake your flesh. When, oh when, will talk take over you? We like your silence too, but here, all this long life, you've just your voice. Speak out then, always from your heart.
on to um, some postnatal poems now of my own. Uh, this is a poem about uh, one of those coffee mornings that new mothers are encouraged to attend. And uh, while I found them very benef beneficial, uh, this is kind of a nightmarish version of a coffee morning slash milking parlour called Crow. Ki a midi yag pos on raishi ishtach, maid na trokale tri rama on dhurish. Chonakamur elahe de rivisha, e gintach der in dorshach. Ach ni god de ve idurha horle, slug for reanos ishtach a reacht sha on tasa, pa skata gwin on so hana. Suile eishgarin is shin e kur alish, pan cafe sa fata lag agus bog. Is ta drau meg farag o geir er an glug, for vor a gwin biog biaun er an uur, just eg marachtint o nail go buid, an tucker seg jewlerin le fada le stoid, an smur suite as gach canov, glo damantin a hoite sa eg jabe, cogerni le skabadoch de skrecha. Ashi fos er an dorsach, eg fara ishtach. Ach ni leendal shirike, na ean tachdas. Bayer, translated by Billy Ramsell. We measure her measuring, will she come in? Will her carriage pass through the door frame? We've registered this kind of thing before, uncertainty at the threshold. But no need for her, between two words, to hesitate. She'll be swallowed anyway into this kingdom of heat. There's a scatter of us here already, salmon-eyed and sweating. The coffee in our coffee pots sweet and ineffectual. A few of us monitor the clock on the wall. But most wouldn't give you spilt milk for the hour, stationed here between drowsiness and roaring, the hunger sucking at us, brain and need brain, the matter slurped out of each bone. Oh, how this cursed acoustic titillates and stabs, the whispering and the shrieks and the jibber jabber. And still she cogitates athwart the door frame. But the only way out for her is to come in. When my first baby was um, two months old, a friend came to visit uh, who works for the UN. So he's uh, an impressive guy and his world seemed very, very wide and my brain was mush. <laughs> So this is called Kurtor and it's for Angus Lampkin. Hani shruin non down tid, kota mar nail agert, ismala er the rim. Hani shsunarach on down tid. Vishkelt a galore got the hiana so hunger, id lawn le hoopish is tishkint rounde, huggish shruinid chasna on tochid. Near a vein shau coo, no mock ain re, near of sparry earin er an oga on tea, vis roth le shandene, a rucht chalin. Vis are the hoivness like farshingu, matain at the hood fuckle, this eel the glahu, vimachown is the revown, ek fio, ekungu. Snime er machanga nach viat and squeale, quing er minchin a curum elle, rain morark. Gomur Kailahe. Brian Ishke Ditche and Tagain Moor, Chasni and Tutore Evate Nasul, Brosle Danama er Yakar de Edu. Vias shall favor Iden Espalia. Vias shall er Marahel Agene, Vasis Gamen er Kal Fasse. Dimig tu is Danamurne, Chahiasi is Dime Shiamur Rihim. Chlan an kyo dyreir a chéile. Hán i shrúi nón daun tyr, dan ish tamal e kóra lin, gudé tú slán a ir an vóhar. 
The Visitor, translated by Alan Gillis. You came to us, you said, from Mazaradan, wearing a tobe, a satchel on your shoulder. You came in spring from Mazaradan. Your head spinning tales from near and far, full of more wonder than I'd come upon, that you'd carried over countless hills and rivers. You were not a hawk, nor a kingly man. I was before you in the guise of a girl. Our house windows had no bolts of iron. You were at ease, letting your words unfurl and bloom, but as they opened my head and everything in it became gnarled. My field of vision was dark as nightshade, the knot in my tongue like a halter, because another care weighed on me like lead. For you, the great ocean is a drop of water. You cross a border at the blink of an eye. Your soul's fuel is rich as myrrh. I spent time when my mind was fried. I spent time under house arrest. I thought I would roll over and die. But I stayed, you left. Now I'm finding once more a rhythm as the fog slowly lifts. You came, you said, from Mazaradan, and stayed and talked for a time. May you drift in peace across these hills, rivers, oceans, far lands. This will be the last poem, and um, so my thanks to everyone involved in getting this event together. It's a poem about lingering in bed in the morning. Grasse matinée. Iasamid a rashti er baul. Olamid cafe te dov. Achnile and dow. Oris moor and fiaul. Fehek brastu. Iasamid a rashti er baul. Dred lom manau. Ni ga an griasu ach. Ni le and dow. Pog me veil gamau. Blash diem a room. Isamid Arashti Erbao. Quimel the live dem chawil. Ha duil se tu ilach ni leen dao. Fan sukkert, fan town, morrog at dangen hu. Isamid Arashti Erbao. Ach ni leen dao. Kras matine. Translated by Alan Gillis. Oranges we will soon taste. We will drink hot black coffee. But there is no need for haste. For there is great waste in hurrying. Oranges we will soon taste. We are interlaced. We are beyond mere play. But there is no need for haste. Slowly kiss my face. Savor me, my love. Oranges we will soon taste. Stay your hand on my breast. There is fire in the eye, but there is no need for haste. Stay calm, stay firm. I love you fit to burst. Oranges we will soon taste, but there is no need for haste. Karnil Mahagav. <laughs>